Welcome back to All This Math. This is Professor Parker. For today's lesson, we're going to talk about some grade two math, adding and subtracting with like units. Now, first and foremost, the reason that we're doing this, one of the reasons that we're doing this, because it's beneficial and that the way we're about to do this is going to be a preparation for a later algebra where students have to combine like terms in algebraic expressions. So they'll be introduced to this as early as the second grade. So when they get to an algebra one class, they won't feel overwhelmed by what they have to do. So let's look at these examples. So we got a few examples up here. The first one says 30 plus 60. Now, instead of just, you know, writing 30 over 60, and using the standard algorithm, we're going to do this a different way. We're going to think of this as in terms of place value. So how many tens do we have here of 30? We got three tens. And then we have six tens, because 60 is six tens. Almost like six $10 bills is 60. So three tens plus six tens. And these are like terms. How many tens and how many tens? So we add them together. That gives us nine tens. And nine tens is equal to 90. Then we go to the next example, except now we're doing subtraction, 50 minus 30. So let's break this down. 50 is the same thing as saying five tens minus three tens, just like money. Five $10 bills, three $10 bills. So you have five take away three, which makes the math a little more simple, right? A little more manageable. Five take away three is two. So we have two tens. And two tens will be 20 because that's almost like, that's actually doing multiplication. Two times 10 is also 20. Let me go to the next example, 51 minus 30. This one is different because in 51, we don't have a zero in the ones place. So how would we write this? We're going to write this as five. The 51 is going to be five tens plus one, one. Five tens plus one, one. That's 51 minus three tens. Now, here's where we get to talking about like terms and combining like terms. So I have, I'm going to put my tens together. So I got five tens and three tens. I take away three tens from five tens. That leaves me with two tens, like in this example. So this gives us two tens and one, one. So two tens would be 20. One, one is one. So 20 plus one is going to give me 21. Then we go down here, 24 plus 5. Similar to this one, we have a non-zero digit in the ones place. So 24 can be written as two tens and four ones plus five ones. Now, we want to look for like terms and combine them. So the tens doesn't have a like terms. The ones and the one, the ones have a like term. The ones and ones go together. So we're going to combine those, right? So that means we have two tens and nine ones because four plus five is nine so then we have nine ones so with two tens is going to be 20 nine ones is going to be nine leaving us with a sum of 29 now last but not least 78 minus three so 78 is seven tens plus eight ones minus three ones so then we're going to combine like terms. Again, this is something that you're going to see in algebra when you're dealing with algebraic expressions, combining like terms, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division with algebraic expressions. But we're introducing it in grade two. So we got eight ones and three ones. So the seven tens is going to be, uh, well, still seven tens for now. But eight ones take away three ones or subtract three ones leaves you with five ones. And that's going to be 70 five because seven tens is 70 and five ones is five and that's today's lesson